Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech, <coughs> the Swan Song campaign here. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our hardest possible challenge in Battletech. It is time for the Steal the Prototype mission. We're at four and a half skulls and we are working for the Capellian Confederation just to get our reputation up a bit more. Four and a half skulls means we are going to fight against noticeable opponents. I am getting that salvage value up, mainly because I am still hoping that we could get a couple of assaults, ma uh, assault max right there. So we are deploying the same team as before, Thunderbolt as our LRM uh, boat. We got the Annihilator and the Bull Shark for our frontline heavy fighting and the Orion as a scout slash tank. Let's use Reaper instead of Tygen, who needs to cure himself. And not even our tonnage is too low. Uh, the game tells us we're pretty much fine to do four and a half school missions. So let's jump into them and see how well we can do. Good, we are landing. Command interface initiated. Got the Highlands here. That is a good biome for us to not overheat. And we got lots and lots and lots of forest, which in return is yet again good for us. So let's sprint up. And I would say we're trying uh, to keep that high ground here. It should work out reasonably well, shouldn't it? Yeah, sprinting through the uh, actual forest just makes it incredibly difficult uh, to move uh, to move on, as you can see. Got a couple of turrets that are waiting for us. Yes, Commander. Good. Before we're going to any of those turrets, let's actually sprint up. Turrets are typically uh, moving at one, which means we don't want to give them too many moves. And we don't know what kind of turrets we're talking about. Might as well be kind of super heavy turrets that are loaded. Good. We're just positioning ourselves here, and it's heavy, not super heavy turrets. Uh, heavy LRM turret. That's definitely one that needs to die. Fantastic. One down. Brought it down, Commander. Three more to go. So all right. It's a bit of a retaliation right there. Which is why I said, let's move everyone first before they actually get their turns. The towers can be brutal. I mean, they are weapon platforms with quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of oomph behind them. All right, moving up. There's an extra turret over here. We're taking vigilance and I just want to make sure that that heavy sniper tower here is never going to hurt anyone. Okay. Multi-target, a bit of damage here and a lot of damage there. Okay, if we play our cards right, we might be able to kill both of the towers. One down. Fantastic, that worked out well. Good, we got one turret left. Not that I'm super afraid of uh, the towers. I like the position up here, to be honest. So, if possible, oh, let's just wait that extra round so that everybody. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. I, I was about to say that everybody can regain a bit of heat, right? 
Commander. Standing by. All right, moving up. Order confirmed. We know that there are other enemies um, incoming. I've got a sensor lock. There is a super heavy LRM turret. What's up, Commander? And we're uh, going to do exactly what we're supposed to do. Wow, that's 30, 40, 50 LRMs plus uh, machine guns. Waiting for orders. Locking in Annihilator just finishes that. Okay, cool. Now, destroy the Merrick reinforcements. And they are, or they are supposedly the ones that are a bit more dangerous. The four turrets, not a problem. Affirmative. There we go. I like the high ground, and I want them to come Let's to move. us. So all of this here is open. And having the high ground means we That's could well. move downhill. Where there is quite a bit of movement advantage that we could take yes commander confirmed whilst moving upwards and hill usually takes longer so let them come medium mech heavy mech fine waiting for my opening another heavy mech okay Like I said, I think we want to, to really stand up here. Good to go. There is definitely another assault mech. Heading because out. the enemy had to turn on one. Good, we're ready. Yeah, what can I do you for? No problem. Let them come just a tiny bit closer. Out of curiosity, like our thumper cannon. Ooh, okay. Well, well, well. Waiting for orders. Awaiting orders. Good, there is the last mech. Our thumper cannon nicely hits all three of them. So <laughs> here we go. That's why I love uh, the bull shark so much. Massive thumper. To see all of those numbers, that was. Standing by. A resounding hit. Roger that. Moving up. Oh wow, look at the damage. Like that quick draw lost half of his hit points. Alright, vigilance. Let's focus on the guy down here. Sensors locked on. And awesome, okay. Fair enough. The reason why I wanted to do that is he's not in the forest and we can very much hit them with the LRMs. Okay. Ready for orders. Takes a substantial beating. Uh, no, that's not close enough. Annihilator moves over. I want them to come a bit closer. Locking on target. Two hits. That's a catapult, right? Yeah. Catapult. Okay, cool. Commander. Orion could technically move over here. That is outside of everybody else's range. We're still... We're still keeping 
our uh, mm, defense up 60% and let's retaliate on the uh, catapult. Nice little hit. Good. I think we can agree the catapult is a decent target. Now lost almost all of its armor. Highly unsteady. Oh, that's good. Okay, Bullshock takes a couple of hits. Nothing serious. Need one more round for the Thumper Cannon again. I'll just use Vigilance in case we continue to be tanking for everyone. And let's just focus on the Catapult. Holy shit. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, three PPCs, that's usually an awesome. I don't like the awesome spec, the uh, standard uh, loadout. Annihilator moves forward and we're giving him vigilance as well, mainly because I want to act first. Target locked. It's go time. Good, uh, the first one is already down. But we're still fine. We're still fine with our heat. Nope. Yeah, we... Nah. Let's, let's keep him in reserve. I'm still hoping the quick draw might move out a bit more. Oh wow, are we really hitting all three of them? <laughs> okay. Moving over here. Some more vigilance in, let's just hit all three. Engaging target. There we go. <laughs> Left side also completely destroyed. Thanks to the mortar. The mortar is not necessarily an, uh, the best endgame weapon, but hey, just look at the amount of damage that it dealt in here, right? Location. Moving up. Just just look at how little is left. All of the armor is gone, LRM's gone, half of the weapons gone. Fire. And now the pride and self-worth of uh, that guy is also gone. Commander. Just like that. Fantastic. Annihilator moves up. It's time to hit the awesome and hit him well. Engaging. Quite a bit of damage. Nothing completely... Nothing completely out of the ordinary.
We're saving some heat and destroying the uh, quick draw that that'll give us some extra resolve for next round. And now it's only uh, the awesome left. Delivers 90 points of damage and then positions himself finally at the place where we could hit it. Thunderbolt moves up. Let's hit the awesome. Fantastic. That guy is almost down. And the Black Knight moves aye, aye. into the open. Okay, well, that is clearly a mistake. Let's go with the awesome for now. Full fledged unloading onto the center torso. Come on, people, let's make there it we happen. go. Eliminated. Bull Shark moves up. Let's reduce enemies, uh, the enemies initiative and we're hitting the center torso and that was a lot of damage well mostly thanks to the thumper we softened them up so so well the two mortars were dealing like three four uh, 300 400 uh, damage each evasion blips just do not count, it's straight up damage, and it is a lot of structural damage. Good. So. The new mechs worked fantastic. Got a Black Knight secured for us. An awesome. Yeah, and the rest looks pretty much standard. I'll take the jump jet. Just because we don't have that many yet. Was hoping for a bit heavier max. Yeah, but you can't have it all. I think that's kind of all that this current system has to offer to us. And unfortunately, the current flashpoints aren't super helpful for us either. So maybe we can look for a four school system. Something th that'll give between three and a half schools and four and a half school uh, type of missions. The problem with the five school missions is we can do them for the pirates at the moment. And that's pretty much it. So Mac Bay, just double checking. We're repairing over here. Yes, the Black Knight, it's a good mech, but we're, currently we already have one and we don't need another one with us. In terms of experience, I don't think that those missions were oh, giving yeah. all too much experience, no. What can I do for you? Ready for orders. Aye, aye. Reaper can increase her gunnery, which is always... Appreciate it. Lily know. here needs some more time in the field as well. She's certainly uh, getting out skilled soon, so maybe Mox and Lily can can exchange places. Mox has quite high stats nowadays. He he might be even one of uh, the uh, most skilled individuals. I wanted to uh, kind of get the uh, last abilities, and he would be. Uh, the first person to uh, who would get it, but it's fine. We we don't need to do that now. Okay, so navigation star map. We wanted to look for a new system, guys. One thing, one that I've to uh, I'd uh, before we were uh, going here was that system. It's not too bad. Battlefield means a lot of uh, salvage, and we have the right factions here. So, at least Capellian and uh, the pirates would be here. 
The Lyran Commonwealth would be helpful for us as well. These would be our opposing factions, of course. So, for Mastalic Planet, certainly is one that um, that could do it. Rich is fantastic, and it's only ten days away. So maybe, just maybe, we're just going here for now. Those quick travels are definitely a a major plus point. Like 10 days here, 12 days here. As soon as it is becoming higher in the double digits, not really needed. Four and a half uh, schools, potentially a bit too much for us, although these three are good employers. Four and a half schools here is fantastic with a pirate black market. Let's start here. Four schools. I feel that seems to be exactly the type of planet that we would be looking for. Before we're jumping the typical things, uh, let's go for a store and see how well we're doing. 3.8 million. None of the mechs are highly interesting. They're all okay. We could buy another UAC-5 for 200,000. It's not a bad weapon. It's not a bad uh, weapon. The UACs typically are the ones that are uh, making the ballistic weapons even viable. And having that one, including a very long range, might be, might be something that we could look into. 90 points of damage. Moderate heat. Yeah, not fantastic, but definitely a much better version uh, than the AC5, which is literally one ton lower, but uh, the damage is half. So let's just go with one of uh, those guys and one extra ammo. And then we're finally moving. Or, or just double checking if if we could upgrade any of our max. Because we do have bonus days and I like to use the days in in between the missions in order to do something. So certainly the bull shark at this point cannot be upgraded. We don't have anything that would meaningfully upgrade uh, them. We haven't received any special weapons either. AC-20 plus is good. USC-10 plus is fantastic. So that's potentially a no-no. Yeah, and we really haven't had much upgrades over here either. So I correct my statement. We can not upgrade anything at this point. Not surprising because we've also only done like two missions. So let's directly set the course and go. Good, and we just arrived in the new system. We already have received or reached maximum morale. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Let's see what Ender Max has in store for us. Quite literal. Got a nice Highlander. 10 million. Fantastic mech. We got one Highlander part here, so if we ever manage to find yet another Highlander, we might be able to like get that Highlander together. The Highlander here, the uh, 733P, is a better one with more laser hard points. Here we only have two laser hard points, so I don't like that version as much as I like this one here specifically with the support hard points. So, ERM laser is good. I like it. But nothing else. Well, quite underwhelming from the shopping list. The Highlander is okay, like the Highlander parts here, it's fine. And But that is pretty much it. Let's hope that we're getting some better contracts, guys. Gonna make some money. 
already down to 3.1 million. Uh, not optimal. Like the RNG gave us a lot of Lyran uh, contracts here, of course, none of which we can do. There is a five star contract, the five school uh, contract, however, to ambush a, a convoy for the pirates. So that's going to happen the next time. And then there is this little retribution thing. Uh, shitty salvage, so we're not going to uh, do the salvage, but we can do the contract in order to get a million. Is it worth maybe being able to salvage one piece? It really is not. Let's go for maximum money. Maybe we're even getting a multi uh, multiplier in there if there is a second team that needs to be killed. Good. We wanted to give Lily a chance. So this is the time and place when you're subbing in uh, your um, your backup for that position. And today we're going to do two. Okay, time to deploy on this mission. Three and a half stars, scrolls rather. That could mean a lot of things. It could mean we're just rushing through it. It could also mean it, that it is actually going to be quite difficult. By the way, let's get this thing going. I don't like the environment here. There's zero cover. Let's maybe move over here. And just fight from from over here. Uh, at least if you're at the border of a map, it is very unlikely that you're going to be pincered. I copy. Those maps here really lend themselves very well for essentially just like Head, heads first charging in and then when you're here you're kind of being attacked from multiple angles and to make sure that we're preventing that from happening copy that okay so far we have not even found enemy contact moving out good there we go No problem. On my way. Good. We're fighting against Mediumex. Interesting. Quick draw and a dragon. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Yes, Commander. I think we can handle both of them. So, time to focus on the quick draw. It's easier to hit. Lost an evasion right away. Awaiting orders. Confirmed. Orion moves up. Vigilance to get that extra defense going. Affirmative. And the quick draw really suffers. Highly unsteady now. We got company. Commander. Fantastic. Bull shark moves up. Yeah, we don't need all of the lasers. I think we'll be able to kill him without all of them. Right, that saved us at least some energy, uh, some heat. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I don't want to take that shot. Instead, we're moving a bit closer with the Annihilator. No retreat. Put some healthy cover over here. Aye, aye. 
Let's put ourselves on reserve. Let the dragon move first. Interesting. He seems to be Standing almost by. taunting us to go into that direction. Orion moves Roger up. That. I'll still keep the vigilance up here and sensor lock just to save some heat. Within these lunar maps, you. you gotta be extra careful with your heat. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Thunderbolt moves in. Uh -huh. Oh, and that brings the pain. That brings a lot of pain. Another quick draw. Okay, cool. Annihilator moves up. Puts us back to the quick draw, so we gotta be careful and reduce uh, the quick draw's initiative next turn. Holy shit. I think I hit something good. Good. Bullshark moves in. Then be careful with the heat. <laughs> and both of the mechs are down. By the way, they were not medium mechs. They just had uh, the perk to heck first on initiative. So the improved initiative perk. He will get a shot, likely. Good, still vigilance and this time using precision strike. Firing this is more weapons. so to get him to one initiative than anything else. Yeah, we're moving over. I really don't need a lot of shots here. Roger that. Firing on target. Standing by. Good. And now that is what I originally wanted to do. Making sure that the Annihilator is moving not being hit in his back. 45%. You know what? We're saving the heat. No problem. Let hit, let them act, act first. And we're just going to tank for one round. That's totally fine. Just out of curiosity, Thumper cannot reach both. I mean, it's large, but it is not huge. Pushark moves over and we're just saving heat. Not the most productive round, but we got our heat reset to zero now. So after that quick, quick draw is done, now in the next round, we will be much, much <laughs> better it. prepared. Commander. All right, Orion, you know what? We're going to re uh, go for a little bit of a reserve play here. There's definitely a second Lance reinforcements Definite somewhere. Minimal. Yeah, and like I mentioned, they can take their hits. Our front line is well protected. We got almost 2,000 armor on the Annihilator, so they will hit us anyways. Might as well get it out of uh, the way. Uh, 
and he's now overheating just because he saw kind of that juicy target same deal here systems holding all right heat is critical on yes, both of them just to get the conversation started this here will ignore their all of their defense and it'll be a nice way to start start off this round just look at the armor <laughs> halfway gone and his armor is also halfway gone reporting minimal damage waiting for orders good moving up here high ground vigilance and now let's take a look at this quick draw right yeah that's what you get Tango down. from almost Commander. overheating on my way good we're going to use the solid sensor lock getting our heat down again locked on waiting on you commander No, none of them are particularly inspiring. I think this one here is amongst the best options that we do have. Good. Got it. So reducing his initiative. Yeah, and you can see he took massive hits on the torso. Barely hit, Commander. Well, they are just trying to like wiggle us down with a few LRFs. Aye, aye. That's not going to work out Confirmed. very well for them. Confirmed. Moving up. Using our remaining heat to blow his core. Target acquired. Fantastic. So, no more line of sight for them. Annihilator is hot, but not uh, not overheated by any stretch of the imagination. Let's move over Copy here. That. Just getting these evasion blips for going. Moving fast. Same for Lily. Oh, that almost asks for a second thumper. Mortar shot. Come on, people, let's make it happen. Oh, 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 that very much asks for it. Awaiting orders. No, I think we're playing the same reserve game as before. They do have assault mechs as well. Oh my gosh, aye, aye. that is too good to pass by. Are you really giving me like four, literal, literally four targets? All right, moving in, Vigilance, got a Catapult, got an Orion and two others, but yeah, that, the entire Lance in the middle of that Mortar. Let me tell you guys that that was potentially one of the best mortars that I've ever had so far. Oh my lord. That was a good one. Okay, cool. Yes, Commander. Ready for so the Zeus moved quite a bit and it would be great if we could start with this guy. Catapult. 
is only moderately dangerous, but the Zeus might be uh, the most dangerous one out of them. Moving over here, I think it's fair to multi-shot. Zeus takes uh, the brunt and then the catapult takes the remainder. That's okay, just reducing the blips here. Commander. All right. Is this you're going to fly? Well, that's a better angle, but it's too far away, unfortunately. Maybe not the best, uh, not not the worst place behind that rock, so that at least we're safe from any retaliation over here. Vigilance to make sure that we get that extra cover. Targeting for an alpha strike. And the stray shots certainly help. Yes, Commander. Could move over here and use the cover, or we're moving over here and there just use the bull shark as their main target at the moment. But we got the guns, and that's the only thing that we got going for us at the moment. A couple of shots, but unfortunately not enough hits. I'll cool down the Annihilator for a round. Damage minimal. Standing by. Alright, they got uh, their own Orion. I think we're going to continue being on reserve. Let their catapult act first. Gravely exposes itself. That was not a clever move. Alright, taking two evasion blips by moving over here. Vigilance to continue to tank. And I would definitely continue harassing the Zeus. I think we're out of the thumper shots. Nice little barrage that we were eating there. Aye, aye. Good to go. Fantastic. Okay, so we're moving over. Yeah, can't even fully unload on the Zeus. Good, that's one down. Commander. And we're managing our heat. Let's sprint over to here with the Orion. Manage the heat, but potentially not worth it. Uh, I think the better place to be in terms of moving is actually back here and then I've got let's focus on the Orion next Receiving you. moving down here so that we're 
not being targetable from that other Orion. We're leaving out the big guns for now. And it's just lasers. We'll give them one round before before they can refire. No Lasers free. still de uh, dealt around 150 damage, so that's fine. Losing lots of armor. Okay, we're fine. Thankfully, the annihilator annihilator has. Just a crap ton of armor. Upper cannon is empty, and that's fine. Yes, Commander. Bull shark. Let's reduce his initiative. And maybe just kill him, really. Got an overheated catapult. Awaiting orders. Orion moves here. And I'll save the precision strike for the annihilator. Roger that. We're softening up the uh, the enemy Orion. Here we go. Nice little hits. Commander. Location confirmed. Good. Let's give it all we got and see if this is enough. 120 damage, and the guy is knocked down. And we got his. We almost quartered it. He's down to 18. Damn, let's do this. Catapult, completely overheated. Aye, can aye. do nothing but... What can I do for you? But stand up. Standing by. Copy that. Okay, Engaging this should target. be a kill. Yeah. Figured it would. Target neutralized. And now that catapult will learn what it means to be attacked by two absolutely mad assault mechs. 125. Highly unstable. Hit twice, medium laser, gone. <laughs> and the bull shark. We'll do the exact same thing. 130. Fantastic. That's a knockdown. Waiting on you, Commander. Which in itself means that he will act at two. We're going to reduce it to one. Tell me what to do. Good, now he's reduced to yeah. one, and unless he has that initiative trait. No, he has the initiative trait, so it got bumped up to two again. Too bad. Okay. Armor breach. Internal damage. Reporting. Internal damage. All right. Commander. Well, I can tell you, dear friend. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Taking that shit lightly. I would receive a max received a maximum injury right there. Roger that. All right, moving up. Can go down. 
Suggestions. Fantastic. Well, that sent an appropriate message and we even got the reinforcements. So that should be another 20% uh, bonus on top of it. Yeah, we that side torso needs repair. The Annihilator took quite a bit of damage and that was um, partially because we really couldn't do much uh, in, in the position where we found ourselves. The enemy couldn't either. It was straight up a free, free fight in the open. And since we needed to fight against two of uh, their forces at the same time, it just makes things so much harder because uh, you need to heat manage and you're eventually are going to be grinded down, which is why whenever I fight against multiple lances at the same time, I really like the um, War of Attrition strategy, where essentially you're trying to maximize uh, your effective armor by getting that 60% damage reduction. I think we can risk it and still continue with the Annihilator, just can't let him uh, tank. Like, how long would a repair take? Two days? That's fine. We're good. Okay, cool. That kind of brings us to the end of today's episode. There is a five school mission for the pirates ahead of us, and it has a huge salvage, so stay tuned. It's going to be fun. As always, if you like the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like uh, down below. That helps the channel and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.